In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create McKinsey style slide design in PowerPoint, which looks more professional and very minimalistic design. As you can see here, we have used uh, very uh, simple colors uh, to show the journey and you can add the icon, the title and the detailed text. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the block arrows. I'm going to choose the arrow which is arrow U-turn, draw the arrow U-turn and then I'm going to give the height as 2.6 and the width is a 3.25. All right, and you can see this arrowhead. This arrowhead, I, I would like to uh, make it flat, so I'm just going to drag this down. And you can see the small orange point here, just bring it down something like this. And this one, make it in the center so that it becomes fully curved, which looks something like this. All right, so once this is done, I'm going to insert one rectangle sorry, a triangle. Go to insert shapes and select the triangle, draw a small triangle where i'm going to make the height as 0 0.45 and width as 0 0.9 all right and then rotate it to flip vertical and bring the cursor down and make sure that this is properly aligned yeah let me just put it in the center align center align middle and then i'm going to put it down here so it looks something like this and then i'm going to select both these shapes hold the shift key and select this one you can group it right mouse click and group it that's the one way the other way which i'm going to do is merge shapes and union but i don't know from a few days particular option is not working when i click on this one it becomes something like this so i don't know what's the reason but let me just group this by pressing ctrl g all right and i'm going to place this one here all right so this is the first shape and then i'm going to use these colors okay so go to the shape fill eye dropper i'm going to use this dark blue for this then press ctrl d to duplicate the arrow shape fill i'm going to use the eyedropper i'm going to use the second color and then i'm going to make it flip vertical and put it here all right and this one i'm going to make this to send to back all right then i'm going to hold the control shift key of the first arrow and put it exactly on top of this then change the color to the third one all right then send this to back then I'm going to select this one, bottom one, bring it down, bring it down here exactly. You have to align it. If it is not aligned, you have to align it perfectly and then send this to back and give the color which is from the fourth box. And then the last one, hold the control shift key and bring it here. And then send this to back and give the color which is kind of a bluish gray all right so it looks something like this so once this is done the next thing which you have to do is add the icon so go to the insert icons you can just choose any icons of your choice so i'm going to just choose some random icons but you can choose any icon which suits your uh, requirement so i'm going to choose some random icons where i'm going to select this one i'm going to choose this second one the third one you can see here then the fourth fifth and maybe one more i'll choose and later on we can delete if not required so the icons has been inserted here you can see here the height and the width i'm going to make it as 0.6 and then bring one icon and put it here in the center this is my second icon this is my third the fourth and the fifth icon so this icon i don't need i can delete this part the next thing is to add the title and the detailed text go to insert title i'm going to use the word title here and the font which i'm going to use is verdana and 
you have to use the same font the color of the font and make it bold center align if you want you can reduce the font size i'm going to put it here and then go to insert text box i'm going to write add detail text here and then this also font color you can use maybe gray color reduce the font size and then i'm going to put it here center align then i'm going to copy this both hold the control shift key this will come here this will come here then this two press ctrl d i'm going to bring this here you can see here and for this also i'm going to bring it here and this case also you have to bring this up so it looks something like this which more professional and then you can add the title where i have added the template journey slide so you can use the same font i can just use uh, journey okay slide and i'm going to use the font word and only make it bold and then i'm going to give the dark color here increase the font size to 20 maybe 22 will be sufficient put it like this you can add your company logo and if you want to do some basic animation you can do it and one more thing you can just change the graphic color to the color what we have used here some dark colors some light colors and all those things okay so you can see here somewhat lighter colors you can just change so depending on the color selection what we have done here for each uh, rectangular this one the arrows okay so like this we can just change it and that's it so the design is ready and you can use for your professional presentations